Lagos State Government says September 1, total ban on Okada in uh, these local governments uh, will begin. Uh, Kosofe, Oshodi, Shomulu, and Mushi. And under these local governments are LCDAs. We have the Ikosi Sheri, the Agbo Iketu, we have Isolo Ejigbo, and we have the Odi Olo. These are the local governments that total ban on Okada will commence uh, today. Yes, on the show, we're being joined by the police um, public relations officer, uh, Lagos Command, uh, Benjamin Undei, uh, to give us an update on uh, enforcement of this uh, decision uh, by the Lagos State Government. So good to have you joining us on the program, uh, PPRO. Good morning. Good morning, and thank you for having me on the program today. And well done for all you do for our country and for our state. We appreciate you a, a lot. Thank you so very much. Let's look at the conversation around um, Okada Ban. Uh, let's, let's even ask you this um, straight, 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 straight away. How has um, enforcement been in the last few months? We know that this is an extension of the ban. How has for enforcement been in the last few months for, for you and your boys? Well, it's been a continuous exercise and um, it's been yielding impressive results. Uh, so we do not intend to slow down on the enforcement because um, it has made our job easier. Um, we, are, we are recording less traffic robberies and um, it, generally it makes our job easier. So it's been impressive. It's, it's been um, above par and we intend to continue like we've always done. That's absolutely interesting. Glad to hear that. But I want to find out if you have any data that indicates uh, to Lagosians that the rate of crime uh, and insecurity has reduced to an extent due to the initial ban from the 1st of June. Yes, I, I, I'm going to pro, um, provide exact figures, but um, statistics show that we've been recording less and less traffic robberies. We still have pockets of traffic robberies here and there. Um, there are some opportunistic uh, robbers, but generally it has reduced. Then even going through the pages of newspapers, even watching TV, you would see that um, reports of oh, our bags were snatched, our phones were collected, has been on the uh, have been on the decline. So generally, people to who come online to to post and tweet about their personal experiences, we don't uh, record such. Uh, again, like it used to be. So I don't think anybody argues that fact that it has actually gone down. I know when these things happen, once in a while people tend to make so much noise about it, so it looks like it's very rampant. No, it's not rampant. It's been on the decline, and uh, much thanks to the uh, ban on the activities of motorcycles in this local government. Okay, so um, help us understand the word total ban, as the Lagos State Government has put it, uh, said September 1, total ban. Ex help us understand all of that. And then, um, you know, we also have this situation where so many uniform uh, still use um, Okada as um, a means of um, transportation and also uh, side business. Help us understand all of this, uh, Benjamin. Okay, so total ban, total ban actually refers to total ban in all roads and streets in that particular local government. You know, prior to the total ban, um, the ban was for major highways all across the states, major highways. So people could still use their motorcycles in smaller streets, in back streets. But when the total ban came to be, it was total. It, it, it does not matter if it's a major road or a back street or a side street, total ban. So that total ban that existed in six local governments is what the state government has um, extended to additional four local governments and the six LCDAs under them. Uh, I'm talking about uh, military men or men in uniform, security agencies um, using motorcycles. Yes, the, the, the state government in making this law made exemptions uh, for, for men in uniform. And that is that they can use their motorcycles as long as they are in uniform and they must not use it for commercial purposes. They must not carry passengers, except the passenger is also uh, a uniformed person who is also fully in uniform. But where you see a soldier, a policeman, any other security agent, um, 
wearing uniform and carrying somebody in mufti is totally against the law. So, so those are the exemptions that we have for, for security operatives. So talk to us about what informed the decision of the government to, you know, spread its tentacles and bring about this total ban in more local government and the local uh, council development areas in Lagos. Yes, you know, you know when, when you're able to contain crime in a particular place and uh, your, your neighbor in a different place still has things that would cause crime, then you're not exactly safe. People could actually, crime could actually spill over into where you have already contained. So it's, it's, it's necessary that you, you expand your containment as wide as possible to make sure that you push crime as far away as possible or, or you, you, you decimate crime as, as much as you can. So um, I, I, in addition to that, the successes we have recorded in those six local governments are so, so impressive that um, the government has decided to widen the net at four local governments. And I, I can tell you that the ultimate plan is to make it statewide, but it has to be in phases so that it doesn't take its toll too much on security operatives and even the people of Lagos. So it's because of the success that we have recorded that the government has decided to expand it. All right. Uh, please help us understand if there are any mechanisms that you have in place to check uh, situations where uh, policemen, your men, will seize this, these bikes and, and keep these bikes. Um, just because they are now entitled to using uh, those bags when on uniform? Or how do you explain? Do you have mechanism to ensure that uh, when these bikes, motorbikes are seized, uh, they are, like the government say, they are destroyed and it doesn't go get into the hands of some other people? Well, um, when the, the, our, our officers and men have um, specific and very clear instructions when these motorcycles are impounded, they are handed over to the Lagos State Task Force, who in turn um, oversees the crushing of these motorcycles. So uh, I don't think a policeman would just take these motorcycles to use, like you are saying. It's where, where they want to use them because the ban also affects policemen, except their uniform. And from what you are saying, you are saying maybe he wants to use it in uniform he can only use one at a time so i don't see how it would be so enticing for him to gather many bikes so we we we, we keep tabs on the dpos on a daily basis in fact as a matter of fact they submit daily reports of uh, motorcycles that have been impounded and they, they they take same to the task force so what you described, yes, might be possible, but it's not, I don't think it's something that is a major concern because I don't see how it's enticing for any officer to actually want to go into that. But in the event that someone knows of such, please, um, our complaint lines are there, we we'll encourage people to, to uh, pass that kind of information to us so that we look into it, uh, make sure the right thing is done and such officers are adequately sanctioned. So please um, call out or can you call out the numbers for us so we can take notes of it or people can jot it down, especially those who are at home. Okay, so can, can we just move to the next question and before uh, I answer the next question, I'll Fantastic. get the numbers ready. Fantastic. But, but for those that can, if you go to, 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 our, to our Twitter page, Lagos State Police Command, you'll see all the numbers written out there on our viral page. Uh, of course, they can also get across to you via social media or your team via social media, right? Yes, you can at all times. All right, absolutely. So let's um, talk a bit uh, about uh, the protest that happened about three days ago at the Lagos State um, National Assembly, the gate of the Lagos State National Assembly. I wonder what your, what your take is or what your reaction will be to that. I mean, because these men who are Okada operators, commercial motorcycle operators, in the areas that are now recently banned, banned are saying, this is how we feed our families, this is how we take care of ourselves, you know, uh, despite the economic crunch that's going on um, and you are enforcing this ban on us right now, what do we do? I wonder what your reaction um, or the, 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 the Lagos State Police reaction is to that. Well, um, when there is a new policy, it's, it's, it's um, a fact that uh, it will favor some people and it won't favor others. 
but the, the this policy has been put in place um, to in the overall interest of everyone. So um, it, when when it came to light that the disadvantages of this uh, of the activities of cycles outweighs the advantages, so it became um, imperative to bring this policy. So we will just um, um, implore people who this does not favor to accept it in good faith in the royal interest of the entire state and find other legitimate things to do. It's, it's, you can't always have it good all the time, but you should have it in mind that it's in everybody's best interest. But you and I know that that is not as easy as it sounds right now, looking at the state of the nation's economy, um, finding something else to do right now uh, might not be as easy as, uh, as it sounds. Uh, in as much as we're not investigating or interrogating the policy, even though we have our rights to, uh, one is beginning to ask, let's ask, isn't there a win-win situation here, uh, like a way where we can profile these young men, you know, be able to identify them and um, allow them to apply some routes? Okay, so, so, so for us, we are law enforcement officers. We enforce the law, available laws. Laws not made by the police, but made by the people, made by the state of assembly, by the federal of assembly. So we just um, enforce the laws. So if, if the government decides to allow for registering them, the way the Ministry of Transport has decided to register all operators of riding ride hailing apps to, to keep a register of people that operate these um, taxis and light ride and all that. If the government decides that they want to do the same thing for motorcycles, yeah, that's fine. The law is made and we enforce the law. But for us, the law that's available now is what we enforce. And I wouldn't be able to talk about profiling them, except they are first allowed to operate. Then we can now move into that. Um, into that. All right, thank you so very much. I think this is the point where you have to help us out with the numbers. You want to call them out as well as yes, any, any social media um, handles that uh, people can get across uh, to your team with. Yes, so our complaint lines, strictly complaint lines, not emergency numbers. Our complaint lines are 0901-051-2350. Once again, 0901-051-2350. And the second one is 0901-051-2348. Again, 0901-051-2348. And the third and the last one is 0909-000-3792. Once again, 0909-000-3792. And for our social media handles, just go on Twitter and um, search for Lagos State Police Command or on Instagram, Lagos State Police Command. Fantastic. Benjamin Uday, thank you for your time and thoughts with us. Thank you for what you do. And um, keep doing what you do and ensure that Lagos State is safe for all of us. Have a great day, Benjamin. Thank you very much. All right, that is it. So, let's see. Yeah. That's where we draw the cut. So you got the, the numbers right if you see yes. you know, something. You got the numbers? Say something. Yes, I got, got yeah, it. So but I just as a way of feedback, I was thinking, if, if he's still listening or any of the people listening, I was thinking I could hear 0900 police, Lagos State Police, something that's pretty easy for people to understand. Yeah. Uh, because having these numbers in your head, you know, 10512, you know, maybe it's something that pretty, probably might need to work on. Just say 0900, Lagos State something, you know, or so. You know what I'm talking about. Yeah, it's been a beautiful conversation um, from conversation around the oil matters to, you know, the budget and the whole issues around how, how much of a deficit we are in and finding a way to get revenue for Nigeria. Drowning, yeah. drowning <laughs> conversation, you know. It's, no, but it's, we should have them up. It just doesn't put a smile on anybody's face when, when you hear these figures, you hear these realities. Uh, some, some boys are cashing out. And then here we are speaking all the grammars, just trying to do the right things. But then the economy is bleeding. Some boys are cashing out, buying our properties all around the country. 
and the country is bleeding and government is not doing what they should do, it is saddening, Mercy. Really yeah, very it, saddening. It is. I totally agree with you. But I'm glad we're having the conversation. No matter how much it looks like nothing is happening now, I believe persistence at some point will be our resistance. Something is going to give. And I'm sure that um, evil is going to give way to the good this time around in Nigeria. But thank you all for being a part of the conversation. To you, our callers, and to all our guests and everybody who contributed, uh, I want to say thank you so much for listening. I think, David, um, um, That's a shout out you wanted to? Or? Oh, yes. Thanks for reminding me. Yes, um, right about now we have a new director general for Nasima. Yes, Nasima has a new DG. Is um, in person of um, Shalau Badimu. Yeah, Shalau Badimu is the new director general of the of Nasima. We want to say a big congratulations to you, sir, as we look forward to a fantastic working relationship with the chamber uh, going forward. Absolutely, yeah. Yeah, that's a nice one. Congratulations to you and your team. Make it work. My name is Mercy Frank. Have an absolutely awesome Thursday. And I'm David Obabadike. Do stay safe and be nice. Just give somebody a meal today. Put a smile on someone's face and have a great day. Put a smile yes. on my face, David. You have a meal for me? <laughs> have a great day. <laughs>